Hi there, Sagittarius, Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com, and welcome to your September 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading. Now, please do know before I begin that this is going to be a general reading, which means that it may or may not tune in necessarily for each and every Sagittarius signs out there though this is definitely applicable whether you are a Sagittarius sun, moon, or rising sign all at the same time. Um, so yeah, without any further ado, let's just dive in into the reading and see what's going on for you and what might be manifesting in terms of your personal life, your love life into the month of September. Now, the first card of the reading, we have here the Justice card, which is, you know, all about balance and legalities, you know, some, making something official. And I always see this card as a card of protection, especially if you are at the point wherein you feel that, you know, there is some form of maltreatment or mistreatment going on in terms of a relationship wherein maybe um, someone is abusing you whether it's an emotional abuse or a physical one this is the point wherein you might want to protect yourself or to assert what is the right thing to do all of those kinds of things it is being crossed over by the ace of wands so you might be at the point of your life maybe maybe you want to protect yourself or you want to do what is the right thing to do it doesn't matter you know what you feel about it whether you feel good or you feel um <laughs> you don't feel right or anything like that what matters right now is you're doing the right thing and that everything is fair and just especially when it comes to relationships you know relationships can be very much complicated you know a lot of things can get tangled here and there because we are dealing with emotions as a whole you know it's not something that you can um label as black and white things can get complicated and sometimes we are you know expressing ourselves or some people are actually not expressing what they truly feel you know allowing the other person to do this and do that because they are their other partner but this is a point wherein you are to make a a major decisions when it comes to your love life and you are to make a decision that is you know something that you you have to do in the relationship whether you are going to commit to a relationship or whether you decide that you know to tell the person to stop doing this because of la 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 those kinds of things you do have the the lovers card as the foundation card of the reading which means that you know the lovers has a lot to do with love and relationship but most of the time this has a lot to do with making decisions you know so you are at the point wherein maybe you are to make a decision over something maybe you know there is something in this relationship that requires you to check in with the pros and cons to what to do about that relationship so it could be that you might be in a situation where things have been stagnant for quite some time and there is now a point where in some form of change needs to happen and a relationship has to move in a certain path you know things cannot stay just the same way as it did in the past so in the recent past we do have here the six of swords which is all about you know forward movement and all of that it could be that you have been thinking of you know you have been thinking that things should be progressing for quite some time but for some reason they were they were not progressing in the same way we also have here in the um psychic tarot deck the movement and choices card along with the discontent and boredom with this all together we can say that you know you are it's like it feels as if you are being forced to make a decision because things are not um happening in the way that you have planned or there could be some form of hiccups or problems in a certain relationship the foundations of your relationship with someone might be having some form of crack and you guys might need to to do something to fix that 
the oh, the top of the reading we have the four of pentacles which is all all about stubborn energy holding on into things that y you want this can also be a situation wherein you know if there are already habits in the relationship your habit or the part your the habit of your other person you know it could be that is a um an obstacle or a problem that you guys might need to fix it could also be that you know there is an energy wherein you feel that this is the right thing to do but at the same time there is something that is stopping you from making some form of change overall though i do see that um you are going to embrace what you truly feel is the right thing to do and because september will be a month wherein your mind and your emotion will come in line all together. In the near future, we do have the Ten of Pentacles over here, which is, you know, some form of gatherings. It's really a wonderful card wherein unions can occur. I just kind of feel that overall, though, um, before you actually reach that happy, happy event that, you know, that union or reunion you're ha having get together with your person or having an improved connection with your partner i just kind of feel that some form of shakeup can actually um, manifest firsthand um, another card that we have over here is the wheel of fortune card represented by you along with the te the temperance card which is you know another you know psychic and karmic card of the deck i just kind of feel that you know this is you um being patient and i would say it's about you making the change you know i kind of feel that there's definitely going to be some form of major decision that you are about to do and it has a lot to do with reharmonizing and correcting something in the relationship especially with the temperance card you know it is an element or in you need to you or you want to put things in balance and but um i also feel that even though that that might be your intention there is a chance here that you know by talking too fast or making judgment too fast with this knight of swords you know you might um trigger some form of hiccups wherein you might end up you know creating misunderstandings or creating some form of um whenever i see the knight of swords there is a possibility of sharp words being exchanged by uh, by two people i always um, see that as a possibility it could also be that sudden events can throw them off their <laughs> their usual um, um composure as a possibility um it could also be a situation wherein you know you have been deliberating on something for quite too long and now is the time for you to make the change and to actually take action with the the last card we have the ten of wands as the overall card of the reading and this has a lot to do with you know um being mindful of of you know being fixated on one thing to a point wherein you are neglecting uh, another so this could be a situation wherein maybe you're speaking too fast making your own judgment that you end up hurting another person or this can also be a situation wherein you try to you try to let go of certain things and then things get can go out of whack you know and that might create burdens in yourself because that is what the ten of wands is all about it's all about burdens and responsibilities we want to move forward but things there are just things that are blocking our way so it doesn't mean that we are not never going to move forward it's just that there's going to be delays or there could be some form of things in our life that we need to face we need to overcome um, some form of adversity and with how the reading is showing with me right now i kind of feel that there could be something with the foundation of the relationship that needs to you know needs to be re renegotiated need to talk things out again um there could be some form of um i would say 
uh, patterns in the relationship that needs to break you know it doesn't have to be a breakup in a relationship however I, I I kind of feel that there could be some form of conflicts that might happen and you know there could be agreements and disagreements in the air but eventually you know this can strengthen the relationship and can create some form of opportunity from being stagnant to some form of more engagement in the in the between you and your partner this can also be a time wherein you can actually spark things up in the relationship especially you know if you have lost touch with your partner you know you haven't been having some sexy times or anything like that this could be a good time to to you know um, reignite that passion that you are having all at the same time I just kind of feel though that there could be some form of awareness showing up for you in terms of your love life and relationship and you might need to work things out with that you know so there's something that you, you need to correct you need to finalize and something that you need to decide within the month of September those are the things that actually are in place now for your astro dice I actually forgot to do them earlier so let's do them right now Sagittarius for the month of September for your astro dice you do have here Jupiter in the sign of Virgo Jupiter in the sign of Virgo in the 11th house so this might have to do you know with your acquaintances and the 11th house is not just about other people but it has a lot to do with your goals in life with what success means for you and for me when it comes to love life and relationship that you might be thinking about the future of this relationship you know are we going to settle down are we going to be serious in this or or what do we want to happen in this relationship so I kind of feel that those kinds of talks you know those kinds of topics might be going to play an important role for you guys into the month I just will say that you know this is not a time to be hasty you know it is a good time to think and rethink your options and choices when it comes to love life and the relationship this can be a make or break kind of month definitely but it's not the time to be hasty and to rush things out so again we do have mars in the sign of aries in retrograde so this is a time to you know to really think what do we want and where our passions are lying right now so um yeah some form of shakeups can happen but you know it can also be another step as you reach that end point of stability and com commitment in the relationship so um yeah that's it for my reading for you guys Sag sagittarius sagittarius sun moon and rising sign this is christy from in the stars by christy.com if you do want a more personal reading specifically done for your own situation you can do that by booking a session with me through my web my website in the stores by christy.com and i shall see you guys again next month